So some of my subscribers, you lovely people out there, need an inspiration for some Christmas on a budget. And I've been planning to do this with my kids for a long time and playing with painting with food. But you know how I love my coffee and some others have asked me to do some tea demonstrations. So for this video I am going to do some matcha tea and coffee Christmas trees. As always, I am going to link the printable below so that you can have it for free and use them for your personal use and create some postcards or create, I don't know, your own Christmas cards or whatever you feel like doing in your journals or just for you to do whatever you like. So I started just making some triangles in pencil because I wanted them to be able to erase and then I had a challenge. I said to myself, you're going to fill these triangles with all different options. And you can use lines and circles, whatever float your boat. Just make sure that the triangles are filled in many different ways. This tree that you're seeing right here, it's like my ugly tree. I know that one is not pretty, but I like the quirkiness of it, if that even makes sense. <laughs> And you know how I struggle with my lines, so I made a lines Christmas tree and then I thought about snow and how, you know, they get covered and bushy and stuff. So I made another Christmas tree that looks like it's snow melting. I don't know, it ends up being green from the matcha tea and obviously brown from my coffee, but I love it. Then I made one that it's all like Christmas, you know, ornaments, like the bold kind of shape ones or whatever. And I just kept filling them up and just to optimize space i made them upside down because i am going to be cutting this anyways and putting them in another like really cute piece of paper that i made before from one of my other printables so that you could actually print them um and have them all in the same page i'm going to show you that at the end of the video but um so far this is what i came up with and then i wanted to do six more so I decided to erase the pencil marks, put it aside, and then bring another one. And this was so much fun, I'm telling you. Uh, my kids wanted to play so bad with this, but um, we didn't have time at the moment. And at that moment that I was doing the video, and I promised them we were going to do it this weekend. So um, I'll probably post on my Instagram what they were doing with the Christmas trees and what they were playing with. So if you don't follow me there, if you want to see more of my everyday life and some other crafts I don't have the time to share here on YouTube, then feel free to go over to my Instagram and follow me there so you can get some more inspiration and see what my kids can do <laughs> with coffee and matcha tea too. Um, we'll probably just make some cards with this ones too. Um, we love sending cards and postcards and all that during Christmas and giving them to friends here in Spain. Uh, they take them to school. I don't know how this year is going to be with the whole virus going around, but um, we're going to try to make the best out of them. So in this one I decided that I was just going to do more lines. Tiny little lines and create just a line paper. Have you seen a pattern here? everything it's lines because I need to practice them. If you need to practice circles then do circles. This one it's a funky little Christmas tree. I made this one look kind of like a fish bone kind of style but um, because I wanted something contrasty like really having the brown in the inside from the coffee and then the match on the outside. I try playing with other um, foods um, to paint with and I didn't like how they look so far, so I have to do something to make them better. And I will have a video on those spices and what I did um, soon. But uh, you're going to see me here mix them up and all that, and I'm going to show you why I didn't like them. But so far, I like my matcha tea and my coffee. So this one, it's more kind of like a Dr. Zeus, um or I don't know kind of whimsical tree the one that looks like a little hat or like a hairdo with the stars I don't know that one's cute but anyways um, this is what I'm talking about I tried to make some this is the food coloring that you put in your paella here in Spain when you're being lazy and you don't want to use the real paella coloring that one is paprika from Walmart 
and there's no Walmart here. I just brought that from state. And that's my coffee, my instant coffee, and then my matcha tea that I got at my local supermarket um, in little portions. So I only used a little bit of it. And then I started spooning some water into each um, of the sections. And of course, I had to try them because I really like seeing how they look before I paint with them. So I brought over some paper and I started putting it down. And I kind of like it, but I didn't like it that bright. Uh, at least not for my Christmas trees. So I'm going to make um, some different paints. This is, that, that video is going to be really cool because I use all natural, like, um, things that you have at home and I get creative with them so um, I, I tried to make it I tried to make all my food colorings and stuff so that everybody can use them so how bright is that match I mean honestly I love it and the color of that coffee mm. and that paprika I didn't like that it was too grainy it didn't really dissolve and I don't think it was the amount of water I put in it I think it was just the paprika brand but anyhow, I, I I found a way to make it better. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, probably in next month I'll have it ready. But um, I still have some experimenting to do. And you know, I do all my um, crafting and my testing and all that. So, and then I leave it some time before I publish the video. Because I want to make sure that I can give you feedback on like... Does this, it's gonna get molded? Does it get bad? Is it gonna, you know? So all these questions, like when I'm experimenting, you're seeing the video now, but this video I filmed a little while ago. And um, a little while, meaning probably like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. And I am doing the editing and the voiceover now because I wanted to give it time for it to, um, you know to be able to answer the questions if it gets moldy or not or if it stinks or if it attracts bugs or whatever this did not get any bugs on it did not get moldy and it did not nothing happened to it I'm still I still have them and obviously um, the ones that I have my kids are already using but um, anyhow this is what they turn out after I cut them from the paper and now I'm adding some other details that I wanted to add to them. So obviously I added the detail and then um, glue them to another piece of paper so that I could scan them for you and for me to use so you can print them out and use them um, again for free. I'll leave the link down below with all the materials I use are going to be down below too so that you can have what papers, what markers, what everything I use and that way you can probably use them too in your projects. Um, so now I'm adding some detail, not in every single little bowl because it will be too much. I want it to look nice and minimalistic or whatever, but um, yeah, you can add more if you like after you print them or if you're gonna make your own, you can just get your own twist to them, but um, yeah. And okay, whatever, my kids were using the Christmas trees that I used before and I keep the scan version because that's the one I use for my journals and just because I don't want to have the natural stuff in my journals and I don't want to keep all of these. Sometimes I like the natural stuff, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm using them for and yeah. So what am I doing here? Hold on. I got lost because my dog is here and he wants me to pet him. So there you go, I just added some more details to all the Christmas trees and after I did this, it's when I glue them to the piece of paper and I'm gonna show you it, how they look. This is a little bird I put in the little Christmas tree, I thought it was funny. But whatever, you can do whatever you like and you can use these for so many, so many projects. Even for like the tags that you put in your Christmas gifts, this is how they will look if you print them and then I chop them in half and then I started cutting the, the top part and this is how the top part looks and I think it looks really pretty and I love how I um, try to optimize this space so that we can use one paper for all of them so see when it's going up and down up and down and this way you can use them um, printing them printing all 12 of them in one piece of paper even my ugly trees there so anyhow this is what they look like and I hope you like it. I hope you use them and if you do, tag me, share with me and yeah, don't forget to have fun. 
you can do this i'm sure even my ugly tree thinks you can <laughs> have an amazing day guys thanks so much for watching and till next time bye